This is All India Radio. In the program spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on reforms in medical education. The participants are Ashok Tandon, political analyst, and Vinay Kumar, journalist. The central government has announced that it will provide 27% reservation for other backward classes and 10% reservation for the economically weaker section in the All India Quota Scheme for undergraduate and postgraduate medical and dental courses in state medical and dental colleges from the current 2021 and 22 academic year onward. This was also announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his Twitter post on Thursday when he said it will immensely help thousands of our youth every year get better opportunities and create a new paradigm of social justice in our country. And this move was necessitated as the uniform 27% reservation for OBCs was not extended to the All India Quota seats of state medical and dental colleges. Mr. Tandon, if we see this medical and uh, dental colleges reservation quota for OBC and EWS, it is going to benefit thousands of students. And the Union Health Ministry also said on Thursday that this decision would benefit every year nearly 1,500 OBC students in MBBS and 2,500 OBC students in post-graduation and also around 550 economically weaker section students in MBBS and around 1,000 EWS students in post-graduation. So it's a great leap forward because when we have seen that over the past one and a half years, medical professionals, doctors have been in the forefront of fighting this pandemic COVID-19. So all the more reason to have reforms in medical education and get more doctors every year in all the streams. It is indeed a landmark decision. There is no doubt about it. And it is also in consonance with the medical reforms which the Modi government has been undertaking for quite some time and uh, very interestingly this decision has come on the eve of uh, the first anniversary of the National Education Policy 2020 and another interesting aspect of this decision was that a delegation of the OBC MPs led by the Union Minister Bhuvan Yadav had met the Prime Minister and demanding proper implementation of reservation for OBCs and EWS candidates in the All India Quota in NEET, UG and PG. In the light of that, the MPs also demanded proper implementation of the system of reservation fix for OBC and EWS candidates for MBBS and MD and MS courses in All India Quota fixed under NEET. Now, particularly when we are talking about this decision, which you are very elaborately referring to. It is basically a historic decision and also, as I said, in the field of medical education, particularly for this, if I may say so, deprived sections of the society. Nobody, in fact, used to talk about the economically weaker sections. No, this decision will benefit nearly 1,500 OBC students in MBBS and 2,500 OBC students in post-graduation and also around 550 economically weaker section students in MBBS and around 1,000 economically weaker section students in post-graduation. So, as the Prime Minister has been consistently saying, that his government is committed to providing due reservations both to the backward category as well as to the economically weaker sections category. Now, a historic decision has been taken to provide for 27% reservation for OBCs and 10% reservation for EWS in the All India Quota Scheme. Now, if we, I think, elaborate a bit into that, this scheme of All India Quota, as you also mentioned, was introduced in 1986 under the Supreme Court's direction to provide for domicile-free merit-based opportunities to students from any state aspiring to study in a good medical college in any state of India. Now, this All India Quota consists of 15% of total available undergraduate seats and 50% of the total available postgraduate seats in government medical colleges. Now, initially, there was no reservation in the All India Quota scheme up to 2007. But in 2007, the Supreme Court introduced 15% reservation for the scheduled caste and 7.5% quota for the scheduled tribes in the scheme. Now, when the Central Education Institution Reservation in Admission Act became effective in 2007, providing for a uniform 27% reservation to the other backward classes, the same was implemented in the all 
सेंट्रल एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन सच एज सफदरजंग हॉस्पिटल लेडी हार्डिंग मेडिकल कॉलेज द अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी एंड द ब्रानो सिंधु यूनिवर्सिटी हाई एवर इट वॉज नॉट एक्सटेंडेड टू दी ऑल इंडिया कोटा सीट ऑफ द स्टेट मेडिकल एंड डेंटल कॉलेज दैट इज द मेन डिफरेंस नो इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड बेनिफिट टू स्टूडेंट्स बिलोंगिंग टू द इकोनॉमिकली वीकर सेक्शन कैटेगरी इन एडमिशन टू हायर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट वॉज मेड बाई द मोदी गवर्नमेंट इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन विच एनेबल द प्रोविजन ऑफ टेन परसेंट रिजर्वेशन फॉर दिस कैटेगरी नाउ अकॉर्डिंगली द नंबर ऑफ सीट्स इन द मेडिकल एंड डेंटल कॉलेज वॉज इंक्रीज ओवर द नेक्स्ट टू ईयर दैट इज ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू अकोमोडेट दिस एडिशनल टेन परसेंट इकोनॉमिकली वीकर सेक्शन रिजर्वेशन सो दैट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ सीट्स अवेलेबल फॉर द अनरिजर्व कैटेगरी डज नॉट रिड्यूज नॉ दिस मिने इज वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट दैट ऑल दीज मेजर्स विल नॉट रिड्यूज द सीट्स इन द अनरिजर्व कैटेगरी सो the upper caste young generation boys and girls need not worry particularly those who are from the unreserved categories if i may frankly use the word upper caste because unfortunately an impression is sought to be given to the upper caste youngsters that all this is being done at your cost no it is not so no reduction in the category of the unreserved seats so therefore in the all india quota seats however this benefit was not extended so far to the categories which we are discussing today so therefore along with the 25.7% reservation for obc 10% reservation for the economically weaker section it is also being extended in the all india quota seat for all the undergraduate postgraduate medical dental courses from the current academic years that is 2021 22 this is equally remarkable thing it is a very important significant decision mr trendan you can't miss the underlying message which the government has sent because if you remember on the opening day when this parliament session began monsoon session prime minister modi also said that because of the ruckus and because of the noise and uproar created by the opposition he was not able to introduce his new members of union council of ministers and prime minister remarked that for the first time so many obcs have been inducted into the cabinet and the opposition has not allowed their introduction in the house and it they should be taken as introduced so this step in medical education also comes close on the heels of induction of record number of ministers from other backward classes also into the modi cabinet number 1 number 2 the message is also very very clear that the government is not leaving any stone unturned in its efforts to carry on with the reforms in whatever sector it is for the benefit of economically weaker sections and obcs as well and elections are also due next year so it is bound to attract this underlying meaning from uh, political commentators and observers as well Yes well when if i may add to what you have said that the day the prime minister was trying to introduce his new ministers to the house there was an uproar and he did remark that apparently some opposition members are not interested in knowing that how much representation is now being given in the union cabinet perhaps for the first time to all the sections which have been deprived so far like the obcs and like women also and particularly when he talked about various other sections in fact he went in to the extent of going within the obc which castes have been now accommodated why apparently the prime minister was trying to make this point was that invariably some of the oppositions have been accusing of the government of being a government of the upper caste and it has never bothered about the economically weaker sections and the various categories in the obc so it is necessary in politics to make a point that uh, no the perception which opposition seeks to create about his government being an upper caste government is not correct and that is why when he gives representation to these categories and the members of the opposition were not willing to listen to him so i think he did make a point now that the maximum number of the obc categories sub castes and all that have found place in the union council of ministers and particularly the number of women and women also from the weaker sections not only women in general but women from the weaker section economically backward section have also found place in the union cabinet so therefore it was necessary to bring the point to the notice and also in the records of parliament and one point here i would like to make is that there is a 52% obc population and there was a rohini commission on finding that over the past 5 years 
just 10 caste groups have constituted 25% of beneficiaries, while over 1,000 had no representation at all. Therefore, it was recommended that sub-categorizations for the quota to better meet its goal of social uplift of the deprived community. So, it's very difficult and very complicated how to segregate and how to identify subcasts. But now an attempt has been made, not only identifying those subcasts, but also giving them representation in the government and also taking care of them as far as the medical health of the country is concerned, as far as opportunities to the section in the medical field and also in other fields of education is concerned. So, I think it's a welcome step and I do hope that uh, it will also be appreciated by the opposition. In politics, uh, the opposition should also appreciate if the government does a good job. And Mr. Dhanan, as we were discussing about the upgradation of medical education infrastructure and the health sector, particularly after COVID-19 pandemic exposed the inadequacies and deficiencies in the medical sector, not only in India, but across the world, even in developed countries of the world. So even if we look at what the WHO has said that ideally there should be one doctor for every thousand patients and in India we are inching closer to that. We now have one doctor for every about 1500 patients. So with increasing number of medical seats and upgradation of medical infrastructure, particularly when this pandemic laid bare everything and exposed the gaping holes in medical sector. I think this will be a welcome step when reserving candidates from backward classes as well as economically weaker sections find their way into the medical education, they become dentists and they become doctors to fulfill the needs of the people in the country not only in urban centers, but in rural areas as well, where we lag behind in providing modern medical facilities. It can come only when we have trained medical professionals and healthcare professionals at our disposal. Certainly, as we all know that over the last 70 years or so, the medical infrastructure in the country has been lacking behind many countries in the world. But one important aspect of this decision, which the Prime Minister made it to the ministry's concern was that they must now ensure, he in fact asked all the ministries concerned to facilitate an effective solution to this long pending issue. Not only that the government has taken a decision, but now its execution and its implementation has to be ensured that at the ground level these benefits do reach the beneficiaries. Normally the decisions are taken, publicity is given, but at the ground level things don't reach the person who really deserve it. So therefore for the forthcoming academic session, as the decision also says, it will be effective from the very medical education academic session of 21-22. So it will be visible on the ground whether these decisions benefiting the OBCs and economically sections, whether it does reach them or not. So that exactly has been now entrusted to all the, in fact, concerned ministries. Prime Minister has also told that the parliamentary party to MPs also, that whatever decisions are taken by his government must be taken to the grassroots level as far as implementation is concerned. It should not remain only a decision on paper. And he has been virtually goading all his MPs and ministers, consistently hammering the need to take the benefits of the government's decision right up to the ground mode level. And unless these decisions and implementation is not visible, is not reaching the beneficiary, it will remain only on paper. So I think this landmark decision will be welcomed by all sections of the society. Let's hope that uh, this landmark and historic decision of the government is implemented in the right letter and spirit. And all the candidates, students from OBCs and EWS sections get benefited out of it. And in the long run, I think it's going to be a game changer for all the deserving students who seek admissions in medical and dental colleges across the country. Thank you, Mr. Tendon, for this discussion. Thank you very much. Thank you. You were listening to a discussion on reforms in medical education. The participants were Ashok Tandon, political analyst, and Vinay Kumar, journalist. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on our mobile app, News on AIR. This program is also available on our YouTube channel, News on AIR Official. You may email opinion about this program at airnsdtalks at gmail.com.